हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द न्यू सेशन मैथ्स विद मल्लेश एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरी डिफिकल्ट कांसेप्ट एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंस एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन एंगल ऑफ डिविएशन कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल व्हाट नॉट एवरीथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस एपिसोड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन एंड विदाउट मेकिंग डिले लेट्स गेट इनटू द टॉप one flies a kite with a thread 150 meters long if thread of kite makes an angle 60 degrees with the ground see this is kite and someone is flying on from the ground and the thread value 150 meters long find the height of the kite from the ground find the height of the ground from Find the height of the kite from the ground. This part they are asking. Suppose A, B, C, and this is always 90 degrees. C. A B is a ground. ठीक है? A B is a ground. And uh, B C is a thread. And thread value 150 meters. And A C is the height of the kite from the ground. And this value is x. This is clear. Now, first of all, if you are new to the trigonometry concept, this is not the right place to go forward. For solving heights and distance, you should have basic knowledge of trigonometry, like what is sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, and what is sine 60 value, cos 60 value, tan 60 value. These kind of small small things we have to understand. So here, opposite and a hypotenuse. Which relation we can apply? Sine theta. Sine theta is equals to opposite by hypotenuse. And this one there is no need to write in your examination. A, B, ground, degrees, these kind of things, no need to do. Just for the explanation, I am telling you. Now, what is sine theta? Sine 60 degrees is equals to what is opposite opposite value x by what is hypotenuse hypotenuse value 150 meters. What is sine 60 value? Root 3 by 2 is equals to x by 150. Two table 150 70 times cancel. X is equals to 75 root 3 meters. So height of the kite from the ground is 75 root 3 meters. So the answer is 75 root 3 meters. Moving on to the next question number two. A telegram post is bent at a point above the ground due to the storm. See, this is telegram post. And due to storm, the fan. some part is broken and what will happen automatically this will lands on the ground and this is ground and this is 90 degrees it it stop just touch meets the ground at a distance of 8 root 3 meters so the stop is touching the ground at the distance of 8 root 3 meters from the from the its foot and makes an angle 30 degrees find the height of the post assume this as a x and uh, this as a find now actually what to find we have to find x and we have to find y is it correct no we have to find addition of x and y why because they are asking height of the height of the this tower height of the tower this part is x and this part is y combination c If this is y, definitely this is also y. So x plus y is the height of this tower. First, to concentrate here. Apply tan theta. What is tan theta? Opposite by adjacent. Okay. Here tan how much? Tan 30 degrees is equals to x by root 3. What is tan 30 value? 1 by root 3 is equals to x by 8 root 3 root 3 root 3 cancel x is equals to 8 meters this part completed now hypotenuse and adjacent which theta is applicable cos theta what is cos theta value adjacent by opposite what is cos 30 value cos 30 value root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 is equals to 
adjacent value 8 root 3 by y root 3 root 3 cancel so cross multiplication y is equals to 2 8 16 meters so x 8 y 16 x plus y is equals to 8 plus 16 24 meters so the height of the tower is 24 meters 8 meters is still alive and a 14 uh, 16 meters was broken this 16 meters broken and it touches the ground so addition x plus y 24 meters moving on to the next question next question a vertical post 15 feet high is broken at a certain height and its upper part not separated completely and meets the ground at a 30 degrees at an angle of 30 degrees see same kind of question little bit changes are there now this total value is 15 this total value is 15 meters clear and it's broken due to broken it touches the ground and how much angle it is making it is making 30 degrees so i am assuming this part as a x this part as a x and what about this value this value will become 15 minus x why because this full part is 15 and this part is x how to get remaining part from total remove x part so from total remove this part total value 15 and remove x 15 minus x is nothing but the remaining value so find the height at which the post is broken they are asking at what here here they are asking x find the height at which post is broken at what height post is broken the question mark is to find to find is x x now what kind of things we can apply first of all here 30 uh, opposite and adjacent we can apply sin theta sin theta is equals to opposite by hypotenuse clear what about sin theta sin 30 degrees is equals to what is opposite opposite value x by hypotenuse 15 minus x what about sin 30 value 1 by 2 1 by 2 is equals to x by 15 minus x cross multiplication 1 into 15 minus x is equals to 15 minus x 2 into x is equals to 2x 15 is equals to minus x will go there 2x plus x it is nothing but 3x 15 is equals to 3x 5 times cancel so x is equals to 5 meters so at what height post is broken exactly at a 5 meters post is broken answer 5 feet 5 feet 5 feet see they are given in a feet that is why we are taking in a feet moving on to the next question fourth question the shadow of tower is root 3 times of the height see this is tower and this is shadow the height of the tower is root 3 times of the the shadow of the tower is root 3 times of the height suppose this is x and what about shadow root 3 x what they are saying one tower is there a tower hai uska shadow root 3 times of the height so i assumed height as a x shadow is a root 3 times of x now opposite and adjacent opposite and adjacent best thing is apply tan theta tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent okay what about tan theta it's tan theta only what about opposite x by what about adjacent root 3 x x x cancel tan theta is equals to 1 by root 3 in tan where you will get 1 by root 3 it is nothing but uh, tan 30 so theta is equals to 30 degrees theta is equals to 30 degrees moving on to the next question question number 5 is very important question most repeated question in a SSC CHSL and SSC CGL prelim, prelims type of questions a man 6 feet tall casts a shadow 4 meters long 
at the same time when a flag pole casts a shadow of 50 feet long then find the height of the pole see first of all this is man and this is shadow man shadow okay and at the same time when a flag pole casts a shadow of 150 degree 150 feet and this is pole again this is shadow how much given actually man feet is 6 feet and shadow is 4 feet and the pole height we don't know and shadow is 50 feet and in this kind use original by shadow is equals to original by shadow original value by shadow value is equals to original value by the shadow value what is original value 6 by what is shadow value 4 is equals to what is original value x and what is shadow value 50 so 3 times and 2 times 25 times so x is equals to 3 into 25 75 meters so the pole height is 75 meters which formula we have to use when original and shadow original shadow given original by shadow is equals to original by shadow moving on to the next question. question number six the angle of elevation of a top of the tower from a point p and the q at a distance of a and b respectively from the base of a tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary see they are ask they are saying about the angle of elevation of a top of a tower now, this is tower okay now the angle of elevation of top of a tower from a point p and q see this is p and this is q at a distance of a and b respectively this is a and this is b p point distance is a meters and q point distance is b meters and in the same straight line see you have one doubt why q here why not on the other side they said p and q on the same straight line not on the either sides on the same straight line then find the height of the tower they are asking h and they said these two angles are complementary complementary means if this is theta and this is 90 minus theta what is complementary angles if two angles are complementary angles then their sum is always equals to the 90 degrees so if this is theta and this is 90 minus theta first apply tan theta tan theta is equals to h by a h by a what about here tan 90 minus theta is equals to h by b why because tan theta value opposite by adjacent clear now tan theta is equal to h by a tan 90 minus theta is equal to h by b what is tan 90 minus theta cot theta cot theta is equal to h by b so take this as a 1 and take this as a 2 now multiply 1 and 2 tan theta into cot theta is equal to h by a into h by b tan theta cot theta will cancel a b will go this side a b is equals to h into h, h square h is equals to root a b meters height of the tower height of the tower is root a b meters this is very very important question for the upcoming ssc exams